in this video we are going to talk about transport across the cell membrane that is active transport and passive transport the passive transport is the movement of the molecules from higher to lower concentration down the concentration gradient and without any use of the cellular energy while the active transport is completely opposite here the movement of the molecule is from low to higher concentration against the concentration gradient and energy is used in the form of the ATP. The active transport is of two types that is primary active transport and secondary active transport. While the passive transport examples are simple diffusion, facilitated diffusion and osmosis. Osmosis is defined as the movement of the water or any other solvent from low solute concentration to higher solute concentration through a semi permeable membrane. As you can see in this figure, solute that is sugar molecules denoted by the orange color, its concentration is low on the left side, then on the right side. So the water that is solvent will move from low solute concentration to higher solute concentration area via semi permeable membrane, and this is called osmosis. Now we are going to discuss the remaining via the, this animation uh, on the left side it's an example of a simple diffusion the molecules will move from will move from the top as the molecules are more concentrated on the top and it diffuses to the bottom until there is an equal concentration and this is called simple diffusion next one is facilitated diffusion it's almost similar to the simple diffusion and like the simple diffusion the molecules are moving from higher concentration to lower concentration and it would continue until the equilibrium is maintained. The only difference between the simple diffusion and facilitated diffusion is that the facilitated diffusion uses a carrier protein. Both of these are the examples of the passive transport because the molecules are moving from higher concentration to lower concentration and without any use of the energy. Now we are going to have an example of primary active transport and secondary active transport. In the primary active transport, energy is liberated directly from the breakdown of ATP. With the help of this ATP, the molecules will move from low concentration to higher concentration, exactly the opposite we discussed earlier. In the active transport, energy is liberated directly from the breakdown of ATP. One in the secondary active transport, energy is not liberated from the ATP molecule. Instead, they move one ion down the concentration and uses that energy to move the second tra transport, uh, the transport of the second ion either in the same direction, that is co transport, or in opposite direction, that is counter transport. If this video was useful, consider subscribing our channel and watch our other videos.